Hello and welcome to another edition of the Evet Screencast. My name is Christian Förster. Today I want to show you how to create titles that contain video. When we're done we should have something like this. Now I chose a very very subtle effect um, <laughs> to, make, to make my point. But uh, you can use that in various ways and of course change it any way you'd like. Um, what we need for this is some video. In this case, I have created some fire that I'll use as the background for the title. Also, we'll have to create the title. We'll create the title in Avid Marquee. Now make sure that in your settings, in the, the Marquee title settings, uh, these settings are either on Ask Me or on Marquee because uh, otherwise it will go straight to title tool. So check those settings if it doesn't work the way it should. Now go to tools, title tool, say marquee, and marquee will magically open. Use the text tool and write your text. Boom. Now change the font to something that you like. In this case, I'll take impact because, you know, <laughs> it's boom, right? It, it says boom right away. <laughs> Change the font to whatever you like. And now we'll create the edge of that boom. So say change edge properties and edge type emboss. That looks kind of weird. Use a color that is similar to your background or to your video that you, that you want to use later on. We'll crank up the size a bit. Enable the lighting. Go to File, Save to Bin. We'll save it directly to Avid. And it creates a beautiful title. Now we can edit that title into our timeline at the point of your choosing. Right here. All right. Now there's our nice boom. Great. But where's the fire? Jesus. Okay, for that we have to step into the title. Here you can see the title actually consists of an alpha mat. Black says show the title, white says show the background. And the graphic fell, which is our embossed boom. And what we have to do now is replace the white type with the fire. So let's get the fire going. Edit this into the empty video track. It's still not visible. If you go to tools, effect palette, key, and use the luma key, go to the effect editor and say the key color is not black but white. That looks pretty, pretty nice. Maybe soften it a little. Change the gain. All right. And if we step out now, <gasps> geez, that that's not what 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 is that? What is that? Definitely not what we wanted. So let's step back in because we have to change something. Now, a, a title actually consists of only two video tracks, the alpha mat and the fill. Now we have two tracks for the fill and we'll have to make one out of them. So mark both tracks and hit collapse. If it's not in your toolbar, it is in the command palette. So hit collapse. 
boom, it collapses uh, both um, tracks into one. So put it back on to video track two. Now this looks like a normal title, and it should. And see, there is the boom with the fire in all its glory. Now the last thing we can do is animate the boom in. So let's change some title parameters. Let's say go five frames into the title and create a keyframe. Put the scale at say 90. And the first one at zero, so it just appears out of out of thin air. And we should be pretty much done. Whoa! Impressive, impressive. Now you can of course use that for way way subtler in way way subtler means than I did. Um, but you get the idea, and I think it's it can be pretty handy and can add some very very nice effects to to your type. So uh, thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com or on the iTunes Store. Uh, on the site you can also comment, uh, but still, if you have any comments or suggestions like future show topics or anything, drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash avidscreencast and on Facebook, facebook.com slash avidscreencast. If you'd like to know what kinds of things I do professionally, even though I wonder why you should, <laughs> visit my website at editguy.de. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next week. Goodbye.